what's up everyone hope everyone is well today we're gonna create a 3d cube in adobe after effects and it's going to be a cube that you can spin around and always and every part of the cube can be a different animation or at least a different composition so let's just get into it i'm already in adobe after effects let's start by creating a new composition I'm gonna go for a 1080p one. Uh, I happen to have this gray color here, so uh, just pick something you like. There we go. And I'm just gonna rename this to main. All right, now we have to create six new compositions and this will be all the faces of the cube. Of course we have the left, the right, the front, the back, the top, the bottom, so um, let's start by doing that. Uh, we're gonna make it 500 by 500 pixels. Okay. And in this composition create a new solid and just pick a color you like. I'm of course gonna go for this yellowish color that I use for film that all the time. Now you might wonder why not just use a 500 by 500 solid inside of the main composition. Well, I'm using compositions for each face so you can actually animate them. So for example, if you want to animate a pattern within this composition, then that's possible. Now we have to duplicate this five times, one, two, three, four, five, and we have to start renaming all of these compositions. So this is going to be the back. Now, of course, you can change the solid colors for each individual composition. So just hold command shift Y and there we go this one can be white make this one black of course you can pick any color you like so now go to the main composition and let's just start by creating a null object you might wonder why well this null object is here so we can later animate the whole cube instead of each individual part but we will get into that later but for now just make sure this 3d icon is checked for the null object and if you don't see these icons make sure you click on toggle switches modes until you see it all right now import the front composition and again make sure the 3d icon is checked and also link this composition to the null object. So that way, once we will transform something of the null object, it will influence this composition. See, there we go. All right, now we can just duplicate this uh, composition five times. Two, three, four, five. And now we will start to replace each composition by the composition that we need. So we have the front, this one will be the back, so select it. And now over here select the back composition. Now hold Alt and now drag this composition on here and it will replace it as you can see. Now also do this for the other compositions. Now we will have to change each individual position and rotation of the parts of the cube because right now, as you can see, this is just one flat layer and we don't want that. So the front position is fine, but once we go to the back, you could, for example, change the anchor point. And since we made a cube that's 500 by 500 pixels, we will need to work in steps of 250 or 500. So maybe it's better to move this back 250 pixels and to actually move the front part to the front a little bit. So it's gonna be minus 250. 
So now once you rotate it, we get this. So we have the yellow part being the front, the white part being the back, and all of the other stuff is still in the center. So now let's move over to the left part. We will have to rotate it, of course. Whoa. Like so. Need to move it to the back as well. It's better to just type in the values to be sure. Oh, my bad. This is not right. It should be 250. There we go. Yep. Now let's head over to the right part. Again, we need to rotate it. And we also need to move this. There we go. See, we already have a little cube going on here. Looks pretty cool. But we still need to add the top and the bottom part. So let's do that. Um, ooh, man. There we go. Of course, we have to change this 90 degrees. And let's just move it up. Minus 250. There we go. Top part finished. And let me just rotate this a little bit. Okay, the bottom part. Again, let's start by rotating this. 90 degrees. Now let's move this down. 250. And voila, that's it. Awesome, there's our cube. All right, guys, so After Effects almost froze, so I just exported the uh, screen recording I was doing, and in the meanwhile, after Effects came back to life and I was able to play around a little bit more with the colors and such but um, Yeah, I think I was explaining how you can rotate it. So um, As you can see here you can rotate the different axes um, but of course you want to animate this and There's a few ways you can do this. Of course, if you just want to rotate it like this to just show one different face, you could create a keyframe, then create another keyframe at a second or so. Um, change this to 90 degrees and then it will look like this. Now you know me, so I'm gonna add ease and whiz. This is a free plugin, I'm gonna say it again, people have been asking and saying that it costs money but you can pay as much as you want so if you fill in zero it's yours for zero bucks but um yeah just apply that and it looks a lot smoother of course you can also change it to a different direction so maybe you want to go for the x rotation so let's create a keyframe at one second that's our starting position then on two seconds create another one and now change this one to 90 degrees and again apply the ease and whiz all right that's pretty cool so now we're just rotating one face but let's see what happens if we rotate another part as well Ooh. Now it gets interesting, right? So, of course, if you want to change a lot at one time, you could also play around with the orientation. So, let's just have a starting keyframe over here. And just to show you something, create another keyframe over here. And let's just pull these different values and let's see what kind of crazy stuff happens. Again, apply some ease and whiz, guys. Of course, if you really wanna go crazy, you could also add a light. I'm not really a fan of it, but um, yeah, as you can see, you get some shadows on all sides. I think it looks too fake, so I rather have a uh, flat looking cube but hey that's up to you 
So a final thing you could do now, and that's why I created compositions for all of the sides, is to add some animation. So I was already playing around with one of these sides, and I decided to add some turbulent displays to it. I really like this effect, and as you can see, I created a few keyframes. So something like this starts to happen. Um, I'm just gonna copy this effect to the different sides and we're just gonna see what will happen. Maybe I should change the values for some of these sides. Um, so the animation looks a bit different everywhere. Now let's see what we got. Oh my god, you see that? Ooh. Man, that has some potential. Man, I, ooh. I might just play around with this for a few hours and maybe create some new channel art. I don't know. But um, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. From here on you can uh, let your creativity go, have fun with this. If you have any questions on this effect, please drop a comment below and uh, of course I'll try to help. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.